Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the end of another week. I hope it's been a good one for you. It certainly has been a great one for us today as the school has been littered with gold and yellow as we celebrate the 50th Jubilee of the UAE. The day has been filled with great events and activities, culminating in our Key Stage 3 students creating the number 50 out on the AstroTurf. Socially distanced, of course, and we can't wait to share the photos of that event with you. It's a great way to celebrate our diverse community and also be appreciative of the fact that we live in this wonderful country. Also, at the beginning of the week, you will have been sent the GEMS Parent Satisfaction Survey uh, and that there is something that we really encourage you, please, to go online and fill out. It gives us important information about what we need to do to move the school forward uh, and to get your feedback on things that are going well and areas that we can improve in. As I outlined in the Academy Weekly last week, this survey is done on what we call the Net Promoter Score, where giving us a 9 or a 10 is seen as promoting the school, giving us a 7 or an 8 is seen as a neutral score, and then anything that is a 6 or below uh, is seen as a detractor. So just to let you know that information, some parents often give us an 8, saying it's a great school, wonderful school, but don't realise that that's actually just a neutral score. So please fill out that survey, let us know how we're doing, uh, and we will get back in touch with those who um, have sort of signified areas where we can improve on. So please, really encourage you to get out there and do that survey, please. Also, uh, this week, a reminder about enrolment fees, thank you. So we're getting a very clear indication of who is returning next year, but we do need those enrolment fees, re-enrolment fees, to start coming in, please. We need that for planning for next year, to be certain about the numbers that we have in the, in the classes, and most importantly, in the primary school, to be able to start to formulate classes, to put students with their friends, uh, to give them choices about who they want to be with. So the moment those uh, re-enrolment fees start coming in, we can start really planning and preparing for next year. Been a very, very busy two weeks, both in the primary and the secondary for assessments. We have our GL assessments happening in Key Stage 2 uh, and you know, really great um, uh, participation there by the students. I know that these uh, exams can call, cause some nervousness for students, but it's great to see the way that they're throwing themselves into, the, into these exams, and we look forward to sharing those results with you uh, in the coming year. And of course, in the secondary school, our uh, year 11 and 13 students completing assessments that will count towards their final GCSE and A-level grades. And we wish them all the best and every success, and we look forward to sharing those results with you at the beginning of the new academic year. This week on social media, you will, you will have also seen our amazing student, Noor Al Moody, in year 2JR. Uh, and she received the Gems Jewels of Kindness Award from us for doing an amazing, um, uh, an amazing experience in terms of creating soap with her mother, uh, making soap and then selling that soap and using the profit from that soap making experience to distribute that amongst uh, charities within Dubai. So well done to Noor, we're so proud of all that you've done uh, and we certainly um, are very uh, proud of the attributes that you display in wanting to help other people and those less fortunate than yourselves. Finally I want to finish this week with some little bit of sad news. Uh, some of you will already know that there are some leadership changes happening next year, one leadership change, in that we're losing our secondary vice principal Mr Matthew Morris. And for those of you that have been here a long time, you will know that Mr Morris is an absolute stalwart of our school community. He arrived here as the Head of Performing Arts and moved his way up through to Assistant Principal and then finally Vice Principal of the Secondary School. What he can't do with data is not worth mentioning. An amazing data person uh, and he really helps to drive forward the success in our school in terms of data, teaching and learning uh, and curriculum. But of course most of you will know him for his amazing contributions to the school productions that have been a, 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 a feature of this school for the last five or six years. And I know that for many of you, Peter Pan, Beauty and the Beast, Wizard of Oz are all amazing experiences that your children have taken part in and Mr Morris has been the driving force behind those. So we're very, very sad to lose Mr Morris but wish him all the well as he returns to the UK uh, where he will be uh, a, a vice principal at Kingston Academy uh, in Herefordshire and he's also returning to get married and start a family. So we wish him all the best and every success in that endeavour. Mr. Morris is going to be replaced by our new Vice Principal of Secondary, Mr. Martin O'Hare. Mr. O'Hare will be joining us from Dulwich College, Zhuhai in China, where he's been for the last four years as Deputy Director of that college. 
Uh, and so we're very, very pleased to be able to bring in the wealth of experience and knowledge that Mr O'Hare has to carry on the work that Mr Morris has started. Uh, and we're very fortunate to have someone of such high calibre coming in to take over from Mr Morris. 17 years in education, uh, as I say, Deputy Director at Dulwich College in Juhai, and previously a secondary principal in Qatar. So a, a wealth of experience there, and we're looking forward to his contributions to the assessment uh, curriculum and data and tracking assessment aspects of our school to drive standards even higher. That's it from me for this week. I wish you all a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you back next week. Thank you very much.